gorgeous. Yes, baby. Be a peace, honey. Okay. I'm coming, baby. Thanks, baby. Here is your beard, darling, Iris. Help yourself, baby. I'm having a beer too. Cheers, baby. <laughs> now I've got to drive drunk, but only on my computer. Hmm, it's a bit iffy. Anyway, it's that time again. Now, I'll just try to make an actual episode of these things. And for a laugh, because I'm an idiot, I thought I'd do some uh, beer status bars, you know, like a, like a computer game would have. And they have to go down as I'm drinking. So, I'm going to have to give you updates on the beer situation. Now, I do it at the start of the videos, usually, like I'll say, I've already had like one or two or whatever beers. It's not usually more than two. So, uh, yeah, we have had two beers. That was about, I'd say about an hour and a half ago. So I don't know. We just put it down as two beers. Also had chicken donut. Hey, yeah, she's very scared, but bless her, she's beautiful. No! Chicken donut kebab, mate. Well, it's going to be a bit iffy. I probably should have uh, poured this before I lit my thing. Makes it easier for me to uh, give you beer updates. Actually, uh, if I can get in there, mate. Get in there. Luckily, there aren't too many uh, C64 driving games. So, uh, I'm trying to think if I should play uh, Electroglide. So I was looking at a video of Electroglide the other day, and uh, whilst I still think the colour palette is atrocious, there must have been a better option there. It's never going to look as good as the Atari, because you don't have like 16 shades of green, 16 shades of blue, whatever. In the case of the early Atari, it's uh, 8. Because the first ones had the uh, CTIA chip, not the GTIA. And they only had 128 cutlers. So there you go, mate. It's uh, educational as usual on this channel. Have I spilt beer on you or is it just fucking cold? No, it's just fucking really cold. Take fuck for that. So, I should really have my keyboard here as well, so I can uh, keep rendering stuff for my music video. Mm. Should really invest in the ashtray. Should really. Not going to, but I should really. Ah, uh, you might get a reflection of my uh, workstation there in the TV, but who knows, mate. Uh, let's have a look. Hmm, sort of. Not enough to be incriminating, though. Uh, yeah, these are not really vigorous exercises, but hey... It's only for a music video anyway. I'm getting a reflection of the TV on the other side of my glasses. Ah, that one's no good. Come on, mate. I need, uh, let's see, 10 clips is a minute, roughly. So I need about 38 clips. So off we go again. Same seed value. Thank you. I can now put it back on the uh, video player. There we go. Hey. Yeah. 
So yeah, I thought I'd sorted it all out and then like an idiot, I'm watching it and it's like, time for another beer, I says, on the uh, video and uh, uh, I'm like, great, I'm going to have to go for it. That's a horrible picture. Uh, no, oh, hang on, we'll have unlimited time. Because we're uh, testing my reaction. Oh, that's the only trainer option there is. So well. Okay, I think with this game we need to uh, go a bit lower on the old ding dongs. Come on. Ah, great. It's never gonna work again, is it? like that. Still too fucking bright though. Yeah, the light green and the yellow. Okay, it's going to come out of shit whatever I do. Can't remember what these mean. They do mean something. Of America, they're not very good at the old uh, press F1 or something. How do you start the game? Just start the fucking game, you bastard. Is it the other joystick port or something? That'd be really dumb. I don't know, you start the fucking game. Ah, oh, great. It's a great start. Roll up's nearly finished and we're going to have to load it again. Okay, push forward on the joystick to start the game. Well, that's one way to stop. Ah, oh, you got American brakes, right, okay. They're hitting me when that happens. I don't think so though. We Bang! I'm not very good at this game anyway, so it's not really a good test. But I'm going to be playing uh, uh, Pit Stop 2 again. Maybe a bit of Pit Stop 1 before that. Hey, he's right in the middle of the road. What am I supposed to do? I'm right on the edge there. Ooh, another video has been generated. Good, good. I mean, I suppose it's fast because there's not much going on, but in terms of roadside objects. Ah, come on, I'm right on the fucking edge as it is. Beer update. I haven't actually had any beer from the uh, picture yet. Ah, come on, mate. He's right in the middle. He's been an arsehole. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's, just, it's annoying about this game. Yeah, 
fucking get out of the way. What is this? The fucking prisoner with Patrick McGoon. Fuck's sake. I didn't even watch the first uh, Formula One race actually of the year, so. Yeah, don't try and do the old spoiler thing because by the time this video goes up, this is the third one I'm doing. Uh, luckily, there's not many uh, racing games, but there is another one, uh, Future Bike Simulator for High Tech. Ah, come on, mate. The bloody rolled up. Yeah, it's gone out. Waste of tobacco, isn't it? Yeah, the turn on this car is absolutely atrocious. Oh, it came on my side, that's fair enough. The trouble with this game is there's no level skip fucking uh, train option. So the 80 must be the number of seconds you've got to do this, so obviously. Now obviously my Atari fanboy friend loved this game. He said it was the best racing game in the world, even though it isn't. There we go. Why does it fucking centre? <sighs> Fuck's sake, this game is really annoying. It's a shit game to do this with. It doesn't centre. It's like Turbo 64. So these colours are a bit better. Ooh. Maybe I should go gone the other way. Driving uh, with one hand on the wheel, stroke joystick while smoking. Nah, there's no more left on that. Well, to be fair, I wasn't even looking at the screen when I crashed there, so. <laughs> Remember, I had a crash in my Cavalier SRI. I think you've got to judge that so you go underneath when it's bouncing at its highest point. It just does not fucking move to the other side, no matter how slow you go. Ah, fire, these things are fucking annoying, mate. Jesus Christ, they get fucking right, that's enough of this. This is a shit game, mate. It's not very playable at all. Well, that might look okay on the camera, but that looks absolutely broken on here. And uh, where's all the colours gone? Now, come on! The menu button don't fucking work on the remote, because it's not the right remote for this TV, you see. Yeah, I do. Right. Trying not to move the camera. So even more annoying to type now, so I oh, know, I know, I know it says seven there, but we're typing in the dark, usual thing. Right, so uh Let's get this uh, loading and then uh, I'll tell you about the Cavalier crash, Vauxhall Cavalier crash.
I had a white Vauxhall SRI <clears throat> hatchback 1983 it was it was a wire edge so you can go and look up what they look like pretty sweet looking actually drive like a fucking uh, piece of agricultural machinery I just had a little sip there that don't count in it so I believe uh, pit stop is in the US Gold Directory rightly or wrongly probably wrongly yeah see this is how the TV well it, this isn't actually how the TV used to be it's, well, it's, it's more like it now, I'll sort something out another time yeah Yeah, this is quite a large directory, you see, so... Okay, so it's going to be in the US gold tapes, isn't it? <laughs> Should we go straight to Pit Stop 2, what do you reckon? Yeah, I noticed uh, Chucky skipped the uh, crack trove screen, etc. for me on uh, Pit Stop 2. And I played it last time, but uh, this may be the wrong joystick port for this. Yeah, I'm going to go with Pit Stop 2 because you still have other cars on the track. So, right, it is joystick port 2, correct, correct. Right, I'm going to have a quarter of a can of beer. Should we brought up the uh, smaller pitcher? <laughs> My beer icons are fantastic. You'll see what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, I had this uh, crash, right? And, uh, <clears throat> basically, the car aquaplaned. Because there was a big puddle around a sharp turn. Uh, and uh, I told my mate, who was in the car with me, I told him to say to the police, you know, that the car aquaplane. So the police are asking him questions, and uh, I hear him talking, because they'd finished talking to me, because obviously I was a driver. They probably wanted him to incriminate me, because uh, the, the parked car I hit happened to belong to a policewoman who was off duty. Come on. So, uh, run stop to start. I'm gonna cheat, so. And now, uh, trainer option. Unlimited fuel, yes. Right, I think I said the rest of it I'm not going to do, so no. No. <clears throat> Although it probably would be quite funny <clears throat> to have a few beers and then try and fill up the tank. I'm sure people did that in the 70s in their Mark II Escorts. So, let's pick a different track this time. Let's have this one. And number of laps, three, that's the minimum. There we go. Um, whatever. Um, that's going to be a tough one. It's always going to be a ZX C. There we go. <clears throat> it's looking a bit rubbish on the camera, actually. Oh, well. Sucks to be you, isn't it? So I fought on the accelerator, around five button for the turbo, straight away. Because we've got unlimited fuel anyway. <clears throat> actually, it's not really bright enough for me. No, 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 no. You go in. He's not far behind me, actually. So I better not fuck it up. Now this is one of the few games where the uh, the track layout is actually on the screen at all times for you to actually uh, do something with. Because with this sort of game, you got to turn in early, so. 
that's really what it's about. The earlier you turn in, the more chance you've got of uh, being in the lane you want and not rubbing the tyres on the uh, thing. You would have to hit the one tyre that's got a fucking mark on it, asshole. Come on. That's the fucking way in it. So for some reason, the other car's not using the turbo now. It was the last time I was playing. It was up to like 249 miles an hour most of the time. Yeah, we're going to have to go into the pits and change the tyre now, so this is bad. So he's only just coming out of the turn that I've just left, so... Yeah, I think we're going to have to take it easy around the corners, because there's a... There's more laps to go, sir. More laps to go, in it. Ah, come on, stop hitting this tire. It'd be risky. So we have to get the, the tire guy and uh, get him to go over. See, he's already overtaken me. Nah, don't put it back, you knob. Nah, this is what I don't like about this game. How'd you fucking get another tire then? What are you supposed to do with this one? Ah, come on! How'd you get rid of the fucking tire? Where's not fire button. I can't go any higher than this. It won't let me change it right. Fuck you! Future bike simulator it is then. I'm not going to load that up again because it takes ages to play it. So... We move the camera. got to be careful with the camera because I have to zoom up what I record for the, uh, you know, the video that I make. Right. Let's see if we can get the beer down to half a can. play pit stop one yeah no that thing with the tires is annoying so mm, I don't know so it's in high-tech software which is not here in alphabetical order it's one of the later ones I did hopefully yeah see Yes, yeah, this one, future buy. Right, let's uh, check out me renders. They don't call them renders for some reason. They call them generations. <coughs> yeah, let's have more of these. important for someone in this uh, house to do aerobics and exercises so I just get my AI wife to do them don't I you know what I'm just gonna finish all the beer in one go so we were down to half so now we're just gonna just gonna go for it basically <laughs> actually if you ask me but anyway I don't know if it's doing something 
Oh no, it's this arsehole. Go away. Right, plus six, so... Uh, I'm just going to say yes to everything. lights or anything flashing on the SD to AC. I don't know if I've ever tried this. Actually looking at the uh, the naming, the way it's been named for like DOS PC, 8 plus 3 characters instead of 15, which the C64 Big 20 and PET can handle. Probably a plus 4. <sighs> Great. I don't think this is going to work. This is going to be a, a shit segment. Shit! Drunk all the beer. Now there's no fucking racing games. Yeah, this, he's not loading anything. No. None of the lights are on on the SD to AC. It's not even airing or anything. So it just doesn't work. So you, you forced me to watch your shit crack throw with shit Sid music. But you don't bother to fucking do it properly so it'll work on the SD to IC, which is what 99% of real hardware gamers are using. So fuck you, Ikari. Go and suck your dad's small one. Because you were born without a cock, you fucking loser. Yeah, I never said... Uh, Beer is going to affect my uh, attitude towards crackers. They're all fucking spastics, pretty much. There's very few of them who aren't. But oh well. Now, there was a thing where it was just called like racing games and stuff. I did all sorts of like other things actually, so. I'm not sure where they are. Hang on, uh, in the D81 directory, I might have a copy of Turbo Charge. Uh, better do alphabetical sort. There you go. I don't think there's any more. I don't think it's uh, the racing games or all that. Ah, what was that? Ah, Overlander, wasn't it? Nah, Overlander's not in here. Overlander did randomly crash, though, when I played it for quite a while. So, let's play this. I can't remember if I made this D81 or if I actually downloaded the D81. Mm, not sure actually. Uh, if it comes up with a crack throw, then uh, I did make it. Yeah, I did make this, so... <clears throat> Master, when he makes the D81s, he, he doesn't have any crack throws on there because he's the one who's actually making them. So, uh, uh, yes to everything, I believe, is the correct response. Uh, card, yes. Uh, yes, why not, mate? Uh, uh, yes. Wow, that is really bad. I don't know if it's fucking loading now or not. It's not actually loading anything because there's no... This has worked though. I've tried this. I think that's supposed to be to change discs. Right. So, uh, yeah. My mate said to the police, Yes, officer, it just planed. It planed. And that doesn't make any sense. So... 
They obviously know that I've told my mate to say something. <laughs> That's fantastic though, because the, the back end went, I caught it the first time. The back end went again in the opposite direction. This is a front wheel drive car with a shit chassis. <laughs> Probably better than any American car of 83 though. Uh, and I caught that one. And then it happened again, and unfortunately, I was too close to this uh, pale blue uh, two-door Mark III Escort that was owned by this uh, young blonde woman. As soon as the crash was over, and I, just, you know, I, was, I knew it was going to I was like, oh shit, because it was like, phew, and then it was like, oh no, and then it was like, phew, and then, oh no, and it was like, nah, fuck. And uh, the policeman, the racist pig, who was with her, he stuck his hands in the car and pulled the keys out of the ignition. Because he's got a small cog. And uh, he has to have a job like that. And uh, I was like, I, I didn't even try and start the car and move it or anything. I think the engine was off. And of course, they had quick response because, you know, policewoman's car, you know. <laughs> Now, I did actually offer, uh, as an apology, to take the woman out for a meal. And she's like, no. She wasn't even polite about it. She was a real bitch. So, she was obviously a racist as well. Obviously, in uh, that time, most of the police force were actually white, English, Scottish, Irish or Welsh people. Anyway, so that's what happened with my Cavalier. And my old schoolmate who used to work in the uh, garage, he fixed it for me. <laughs> I did actually have three black friends. So you can't accuse me of being racist. Uh, I had, well, all right, one was a friend of a friend. But Colton and Yarke, they were good friends of mine. I don't think you can skip these. That's a problem with this game. And even if it was on cartridge and they weren't actually loading up, you know, John Twiddy's uh, 512K maximum cartridges for the C64 GS and regular C64. So even then you won't be able to skip them. So I don't like all this shit. I'd, I'd like a version of Turbocharged where all this shit is taken out. Because I don't actually like the music either. So yeah. <clears throat> Not much else I can say about it. Although I did actually like that car. Because my car before that one was uh, some 55 brake horsepower 1.1 litre Ford Escort Mark III. I specifically said to my dad, is it powerful enough? And he said it's fine. And obviously it wasn't fine. I couldn't wait to get rid of that car. Well, yeah, it did look nice because it was white and it was a two-door and the Mark III Escort is quite a smart looking car. It's quite spartan on the interior. There was bare metal here and there. See, there's no need for this bullshit. Absolutely no need for that. All these need to be fucking taken out. That's the end of that discussion there. Yeah, there is no need for these things. They're not nice enough to warrant all this loading. I just want to fucking get on and play the game. Because it's a multi-load as it is. So by the time all those sections loaded, you could have probably loaded up level 2 and 3. It's bullshit. It's not actually that slow though to load. Even though it works with the SD to IC. So, but still it is annoying. Especially if it doesn't work now. Ah, fuck off, we doing, mate? So, yeah, I don't know if this is a good uh, test. Something like Death Chase or uh, Pit Stop 1 is probably a better test. Great American cross-country road race is brutal. You know what? You're holding me up doing my fucking Helium Halib music video from uh, Capella. Yeah, absolutely holding me up doing that, so... Mm, mm. Who are you? I've got renders to do, mate. I need to set off five at a time.
I'll just set off six. Ah, oh, well, good thing they love me there at that website. <coughs> no, that is the maximum speed, is it? I can't see any gear option. <coughs> I don't mind the drabness of the graphics as such. Just have to blow them all up, mate. Not really a fan of games of like, you know, this where you've got to like drive and shoot. I never liked Chase HQ 2, I thought it was shit in the arcade. Special criminal investigation to you, mate. Is this a zip stick with a rapid fire option? I prefer the music on Overlander. I don't know, the music is just nothing special. Get the scum class in the pickup truck. Scum class! The bane of the planet, mate. There's an easy solution to uh, <clears throat> global warming. It's called uh, euthanize the scum class, mate. See, so now it's got to load up a picture of you breaking through. It's really dumb. It makes no sense, even if you had instant loading on a cartridge, because you can't press fire and instantly skip these things. It'd be okay if you could do that, because then there might be an easy flash version of the game. But, you know, as it is, I don't really want to constantly be interrupted with all this shit. I've forgotten what I was playing. What was I playing? Um, I think I was playing pit stop when I uh, I fucking get on with it, innit? it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this is really the uh, game for that. So, no, I'll turn the fucking thing off and I. Does space put you in a higher gear? Yes, it does. Oh, it gives you a turbo, I think. So it's a bit difficult to hit the turbo constantly because of uh, where the camera is. rapid fire on so man I didn't want to go this way it's really to see how fast the uh, roadside objects can go is that my rival ah stop copying me mate I'll buy a fucking Countach you buy one huh you knob yeah, this, this shooting business is a shit idea. Ah, and it forces you to go to that side. I didn't even... I was on this side. Fuck you, mate. What is this, a fucking Vauxhall Astra Mark III piece of shit with your hand in to match? Yeah, no, it'd be much better if it was like Chase HQ. Where you're actually... Uh, ramming them. This is shit. So I don't really like Turbo Charge. I think Turbo Charge is actually a mediocre game. The Turbos don't seem to last that long so I'm, I'm not getting an idea of how fast the game engine can run. Now obviously uh, 
but I sort out this bastard all the time. It's not going to let you change level until you... You do him in the arse, mate. Until you do him in the arse, innit? Of course, I didn't want to go this way. Right, okay, like that, is it then? You know, those tanks look a bit pesky, if I'm honest. How many shots does this cocksucker need? Maybe a trainer option for a one hit wonder would be a good thing. Yeah, see I can't keep fucking hitting the space bar because uh, how many fucking hits does a cocksucker need? Here we go. It might be a slightly different car, the graphics are so terrible I can't fucking tell. You're not up to my Porsche 928 standard of uh, pixel art. But there you go. No one watches my fucking channel for that shit. Oh no, I went on the Atari forum because I was like trying to find out some information about the 1200XL. And immediately it popped up and uh, told me, you know, notifications of... Because for some reason I'm always logged in there. And I'm like, I saw who it was and I'm like, whatever it is, whatever he's replying to, it's just to disagree with me. He does it all the time. It's like, whatever I say, he's like, nah, I don't agree. Nah, you're wrong. And I'm like, I'm not fucking wrong, mate. I had an ST while you're all fucking wanking over your fucking spectrums. So I don't tell me I don't know, mate. I had an ST in the spring of 1986. Fuck you, mate. What did you have? What did you have? Fucking Oric one, mate. That's probably what you have. Fucking... Yeah, these people don't know shit. But the last thing I remember posting on there was something about, um, you know, the, the Zipstick. And I would have put something like, yeah, well, you know, my preferred choice is the uh, Euromax Zipsticks, the god of Zipsticks. So whatever you're replying to that, to disagree with it just proves you're a prick mate there is no better joystick than the Euromax zipstick see if I could just hold down them Space bar, that'd be fine. But I don't want to move the camera as well, that's the other thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, fuck off. I just wanted to see how fast the fucking roadside objects can go. They're very inconsistent. They'll be going fine one minute and then, you know what, it's time to play Death Chase 64. A brutal game. I have to find a version of Future Bike Simulator that does actually fucking work on the SD to IC now. Uh, I know I've got a video of it on my channel, but that's an emulated video where I'm accused of uh, cheating when I... I think uh, I actually had in the description that I use trainers anyway. I know, I was accused of speeding up the video, like saying it, it couldn't possibly be that fast, and I'm like... Well, it is that fast, mate. What do you want me to say? The infamous Atlantis software. Should we play Rattler? Just for a laugh. How much time we got? We've got plenty of time. Uh, oh, Atlantis. Uh, this must have been an easy one to do. Is rolling by Atlantis? Is that the Amidar clone? Don't like Amidar anyway. Uh, death Chase, de oh, it's Death Race, that's what it is. Death Race 64. Now, of course, that prick Bastiche did a whole video about how, uh, you know, Death Race 64 is Seeger's turbo on the C64. Where it fucking is it, mate? There is a massive difference. It's a poor attempt at 
but it's not actually any sort of substitute for many reasons. There's like four or five reasons why it's nothing like it. And it's like, but yeah, he was on the BBC and you only got like a hundred views on your last video, so he's better than you. And that's really why I'm not part of the retro gaming community anymore, because most of them are fucking spastics. If I want to be surrounded by spastics, mate, I'll go to a fucking hospital. I don't need to go on YouTube for that shit. And actually, well, they don't like to be called spastics, but uh, <laughs> they're, they're actually, most of them are nice people. Unlike uh, the retro gaming community, where most of them are not nice, actually. If you're not part of their little clique, their little queef of fucking, uh, you know, friends, they don't, they don't fucking uh, agree with anything you say. They will just immediately disagree because you're not part of their clique. They're mean. Oh, something has loaded. Something has loaded. So let's have a bit of a smoke. Because we had enough beer today. We've got to save some for tomorrow and Sunday. Sunday night days. I'm not in on Sundays, so don't try and find me. Although this isn't one of those uh, in bed with me retro Bob Mills, Bob Oz Mills reports. Now one thing I did want to do, uh, when I still really was bothered to do stuff on YouTube, so a few years ago, I uh, was uh, painting with uh, Bob Oz. No, painting with Oz, Oz Ross, that was it. And uh, would have been like me actually doing pixel art for like an hour on like Deluxe Paint 3 or My Amiga 1000 or something. Or I, I can't find a Naksha mouse. The Naksha mouse was my favourite. That was a really nice mouse. I used to do all my pixel art on that, you see. Not the uh, Commodore tank mouse. Infinite car, let's just say fucking yes to everything, mate. Infinite time. Ah, oh, there's no collision thing. Because when I did the uh, video on YouTube, that was uh, hardware collision off. So, actually, the Rock Tech Game Killer. If I could find that, because I do have one, uh, if I had that plugged into the C64, I could actually make this game playable. But it's not playable because the sprites are too fucking massive. Look at the size of them sprites. Oh, great. Straight away they crash into the back here. So the only thing remotely like the fucking arcade is the uh, beep beep noise. Certainly ain't got the sound effects of the arcade. It's a shame because it's actually not a bad looking game. Thing is, I don't feel drunk, so if I do bad at this game, it's because I always do bad at this game. If this game was any worse, I might play Indiana Jones and the Lost Kingdom. That's how bad I feel. So really, all the sprites need to be changed and reduced in size by uh, well, 50% width and 50%. Because look, those trees are the size of your fucking car. So your car's the size of a fucking lorry. But it's all right, Basti says it's exactly like Turbo 64. Exactly. It's fuck, you don't even get the ambulance, you don't get the uh, split level in the road where you can't tell which side of the track they're going to come out of when they disappear in the middle, where you get, like, you know, the step. Like I said, there's no ambulance that comes behind you. It's bullshit. If you want to play Turbo at home, you buy ColecoVision. It's the end of the story, mate. Uh, it's not like the roadside objects are like 
you know, super cycle levels are brilliant. Oh, okay, you have two gears. That's like the arcade. Not sure why the explosions have to be blue and yellow. You can actually change the uh, one of those colours. So when you're exploding, perhaps, uh, you know, the blue colour should be changed to fucking uh, orange. The tunnel don't look too bad, actually. So the graphics are actually okay. I mean, like I said, the roadside objects are not super cycle. But I'm not here to review the game. Yeah, they really should have done something with the, uh, you know, the colours of the explosions. They look really dumb. And the buildings don't actually move, and they look like fucking gem paint, fucking uh, built-in textures from 1984. Fuck off. Turbo hasn't been converted to the C64, and there's nothing like Turbo on the C64. And when I got Turbo Tape C64, it was like, you know, 0 to 23, you know, the tape counter numbers. It was like uh, Turbo tape 64 and then uh, the first one was pole position so it was like 24 to whatever and I was like great I can play turbo on my C64 because I'd already played stuff like Annie Rock Scramble and Annie Rock Space Pilot fire off a few more generations <laughs> Like I said, I need uh, 38 of the bastard things that don't look like fucking nightmare fuel and actually look quite realistic. I don't think the AI really understands, uh, you know, exercising. So it's a shame about Future Bike Simulator. I'll have to investigate that. Trying to think of another game, actually, another driving game. Yeah, probably got about yeah, ten, maybe fifteen to twenty minutes on the camera. Yeah, about twenty minutes, I reckon. As though driving games there. But, uh, and brightness is too fucking thing for me. Fuck you. No, oh, I do have red wine. Maybe I can make a cocktail, a bit of, uh, f the famous grouse whiskey, some Pinot Noir red wine, and a bit of beer. <clears throat> Probably tastes like shit, though. There we go. There is a directory where I've got things like, you know, racing games. Ah, oh, here we go. Actually, Super Monaco. So that would be in US Gold, if I have it in there. Possibly not in there, in which case, the end of this video, a disastrous video. I had nothing to do with a beer, <clears throat> which was finished ages ago. Need to find Blitz Hop It Race type of tune uh, that will work from uh, a D64 image or at least PRGs 
from the uh, from the SD to IEC. They're the kind of thing that's most likely a tap file rather than a T64, which is impossible for me to put on the SD to IEC. I can't get the uh, program for, and even then they'll be loading off the uh, off the tape uh, device ID, so it won't work. No, I can't see Super Monica in there. Can you? Answers on the postcard. No, that's a bit shit. Where have I put Super Monaco then? And why ain't they in fucking alphabetical order then? No, that's shift lock, that's why. No, it's not on yet. There's not going to be in US gold tapes. I don't think, even though it's a D81, that'd be a bit weird for me to have put them in there like that. No. Be pit stop. It is. I don't really want to play this. There was an isometric racing game on the uh, Atari. It was called, uh, I think it's called Ion Racer. I wouldn't mind playing that. It's a rip-off of the old uh, either SNK or IREM uh, game on horseback. Just plays very similar to that. Ah, no one else will tell you that. We. Generations are starting to come through and they're very weird. I'll do some more while I'm playing this shit for a bit. Very awkward uh, trained game. Bet you unlimited. You probably should be get. Uh, yes. Uh no. Uh, no. And uh, no, there we go. Let me just fire off a few more of these. Hey. How many have we got there? One, two, three, four. Oh that's a nice one. Hello, darling. <coughs> yeah, I do number five. Isn't it? Why not? It's free and unlimited, and they love me on that website. <coughs> oh, actually, let's uh, see what video analytics are saying about my uh, thing there. 620. Uh, it started to go down. And, uh, 580 views, that's not bad. That was worth the two days that I spent on that one. <coughs> right. This could be a choice to put one game. It's quite an early game. And I can't see where to put the keyboard. Beer must have worn off. Damn it! Isn't there like um, a gear or something? Can't see any indication on the uh, status panel there.
Yeah, this is, this is actually a little bit like Seeger's Turbo. I don't want to go in the pits. Obviously, graphically, it's a bit shit. There's no turbo button or anything. Now, I think you just got this. This is the gear. It's basically the computer game version of uh, a Demon Driver by Pally Toy. As far as gameplay goes, it's a bit boring. Uh, <clears throat> Obviously, I'm going to crash because I'm trying to turn the camera on while I'm driving. Don't do that, even if you haven't had any beers. It's probably illegal. It's just not doing it for me. It's just, I don't know. I think maybe because the graphics are so rubbish, I have to concentrate on the uh, boring gameplay. Very simple. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that people don't really make any games like, you know, this anymore, so... They don't do gauntlet games either, and um, they rarely do shoot them up, up to the level of uh, Salamander, let alone Enforcer, so... And uh, the courses look exactly the same. I don't know why the cars have to be these shit colours as well. It's a bit Apple too. It's a bit Acorn Electron, if I'm honest. And the tarmac for the, uh, you know, the roads should probably be a darkish shade of grey. I suppose green is fine. Yeah, the game is too simplistic, really. Mm. Why did you carry on recording it? It makes no difference. If I'm going to do anything in the video editor, then I have to convert them to MP4s anyway. So really... to swap out Aslan and Chucky. Chucky's been in that room quite a while and I've still got to go sleep. Uh, I might watch Limetown. I'm getting fed up watching Goliath. It's, it's just... The first season was alright and there's Dan Hill from there. And my, my God, that woman, Patty Selly, Patagonia, bullshit, whatever name that they're given the character. She's one of the ugliest women in the world. Because her uh, fucking eyes are so high, they're practically on her forehead. And uh, her mouth is quite low. She's got a face like a fucking uh, puffed up uh, cabbage patch kid. But it's mainly because she's got such a long middle section to her face that it's very masculine. Yeah, I don't think we've proved anything with all these beers and all these racing games. But at least the beer was nice. I don't think you should drink whilst playing driving games, baby.